Okay everyone, I am back from hiking with my dogs and I am gonna mix up some dog treats for them. Uh, they're just gonna be made of peanut butter, coconut flour, milk, and then the applesauce that I made um, earlier today. Super simple if anybody wants that recipe. Um, it's a great way to add something sweet without actually being sugar and I don't sweeten to the applesauce either. So, um, fairly healthy dog treats for our dogs. Okay, so my mixture is made up of peanut butter, coconut flour, and applesauce right now. I just want to get it all kind of mixed together. Coconut flour is super good for dogs. You can Google that, um, especially if your dog is diabetic. Mine are not diabetic, but it still has a lot more health benefits than regular flour. Um, and so I like to use that whenever is possible. Now I'm gonna mix in my milk, and sometimes I have to play with my flour ratio um, to get it right. Once my mixture has enough flour so it doesn't feel too wet, then I'm going to form it into a ball and put it between wax paper so that I can roll it out. A little trick that I learned from my grandmother is to use wax paper instead of flouring the countertop because uh, then you're not adding more flour, which makes sense. So I do that for all my baking. Shout out to grandma. So you want to roll it till it's about a quarter of an inch thick. I have a cute little dog bone cookie cutter that you can use. And you just start cutting. Um, so now I'm going to stick these in the oven. Do you want to treat? Nope, sit down. Sit. Sit. You want to treat. So if you try these, let me know, or if you have a favorite homemade dog treat, I would love to hear about them. So as you can see, they were super easy and the dogs really liked them. Um, not to mention they're so cute.